Good afternoon, John here. Well, I finally did it. I I got the last battery, the fourth battery for my Blue Eddy AC300 uh, with 2400 watts of uh, solar. And it seems fine. I added this I added this piece here. Um and I've got it screwed in and I mean it it's it's pretty solid I thought I could possibly screw a 1x6 push the wheels in and screw a 1x6 that comes out a little farther if I thought I needed a little more stability this way but it seems pretty good I'm gonna add I'm gonna get a, a metal piece like I did here to go up to catch this fourth battery and take that wood one off I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that, get a piece. The only thing that's really kind of weird is you see this cable? Okay, these two batteries are one, like if you go into bat, in the batteries here, they're one, This, these two are the bottom ones. I don't know if you can see that. It's not focusing. These two on the left were the two bottom batteries and then this battery was just number two and now I just added number four you can see it's not it's not uh, why is that not focusing it's not fully charged it's 85 the rest of them are 100% uh, get that focused uh, there we go that's the battery but if you can, if you can see this three and four, this is as high as I can go, and it just made it. <laughs> I mean, it's it. I mean, it, it's they it couldn't have <laughs> couldn't have cut it any closer. So that's the only thing that's kind of weird, but it seems to be fine. It's I mean, it's not. It's just bending it. I mean, it, but they boy they cut that one really close, but. Yeah, I kind of like being able to read it now at eye level. It's uh, it's at eye level. I don't have to bend over. Of course, with the three, it wasn't bad. You could look, at, but when you've got it down at like just two batteries or one battery, you got to get down on your hands and knees. So that's that's kind of cool. So I, I think I'm fine. Um, I was I was hoping I could keep it all stacked like this. So I I may I may put that one by six down here to stable it, and then I can just unscrew it when I when I need to move it. But that would stable it. But it seems it seems not too bad. I mean, if you know if you really ran into it with something, but I mean it's not it doesn't feel tippy. I mean I can push on it and it's not going to tip over. So, alrighty, just an FYI. You all have a good one. God bless.